Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tips by Anil. So in this video, we will see, you know, in, in my previous uh, video, I uploaded for leave management system. And in that I got many users were asking about the SharePoint list that I used. Okay. So people having some issues uh, like uh, what kind of SharePoint list I created and the column behind. So in my video might be I have missed few things like I, I didn't, you know, uh, created the columns, the type of columns and the lookup of the uh, columns. So here I'll show you. So this application I created actually and you know, uh, this application I just restored it for you because I lost this application and I recreated it again. So suppose if I'm going to uh, click on annual leave and this annual leave I'm going to for 26. Okay. And here, if I will type title annual leave and click on submit leave, you can say leave applied successfully. Okay. But here is zero days. Why? This is this just I changes because until the will leave will not be approved, the count will not be deducted from the all leave. Okay, so these all are the leaves that user having in uh, his account and the leaves that is applied. You can see here. So right now we just applied annual leave once once I'll click on this pending you can see the status of the leave that I applied and request sent to Sunil Gangwar. Okay, now I'll show you the columns. First, I use the balance leave. So here, uh, uh, actually, I added two more columns that you will not see in my video years and uh, category. So this is basically uh, like senior, junior or a management. So I got one requirement from one of my client that they are looking to add a different leaf for a different cadre. So here we having year like uh, these app, these uh, these leaves I applied for only 2023. OK, so total leaves for annual 10, casual 12. And once we will enter in a new year, then again, these leaves I'll have to modify. OK, again, I'll add a new row. All right. So these two columns you will not see, but these all columns I already told you. So let me show you the schema of this application. So here you will see. This leave type is choice total uh, leaves uh, is number. This is just number, no calculated field. Leave description, I created single line of text. You can create multi line of text. Leave ID, here I created single line of text, year and cadre. Okay. Now, this is balance leave. Okay. So basically, balance leave is nothing. It's a, it's a leave that initially we are providing to the employee as per the cadre. All right. Now this is the leave applied by user. So user are getting the issue, the ID that is leave ID from where we are getting the leave ID. So you can see here the leave ID is lookup and this lookup is created from the leave balance. You can see balance leave and here's the leave ID. Okay. So this is the lookup column from the balance leave. Okay, and other columns are very simple, very straightforward. I requested by person or group, requested to person or group from day to day, total days, leave title, leave type, leave description. Okay, and few columns I added waiting for HR, HR comments, HR actions on approval link. So these columns you will not see in my previous video because these columns I just created for my approval process. So this application I created and this is basically two levels of approval. First is for, you know, uh, waiting for manager and the second is waiting for HR. OK, so these columns you will not see in my previous video, but these you can see. OK, so I hope you can uh, understand the about the shipment list column. 
and if you want to implement you know this leave uh, user information so basically this is for my approval like i here i created the user and manager and the cadre and the hr name okay so accordingly the workflow will run so this i uh, again I, i'm telling you that these kind of these list and column you will not get in my previous video okay but uh if i'll get any kind of request any comments like uh then initially again i will try to create a lib application and where you will see the approval process as well okay now let's move on the application many user said what you have written on start okay so i'll show you that on start what i have written here you can see clear collect nav manager so the nav manager basically whenever a manager will log in okay if you are the manager suppose if you are going to log in then these uh these screens uh, will be displayed on the application and this is the nav employee view okay and here uh you can match like we have created a clear collect and this is group by display name collection so i'm not sure and even i don't remember as well like uh this is applicable for you or not because this is i created in my last app uh, like uh, in my last requirement user manager and user cadre all right so this is for app and many comment i got that you are getting issue on new request okay so for a submit button on visible what i have done here update contact show approval equals to false so basically in my previous video what i have done when user will click uh here and he can change the approval but right now this sunil is coming from the list here okay and i'll show you my submit leave so in my submit leave you can see the patch function i applied here so this is the same i didn't change change anything okay my all columns all right and what i have done on this screen on visible you can see a uh, select leap id clear collect leap sum so you can see all the formulas whatever i have written here okay and on new request i didn't read in anything i can show you all the screen might be it will help you so here click collect my leap call filter leap applied by user set user manager this is my leap balance on the leap balance now i'm going to uh, filter my leaps as per the user cadre Okay, this is items and i didn't written anything here now okay and i think yeah we have covered everything all right so if you want you can just uh, do let me know uh, i can go live and i can resolve your issues if you have any kind of again further issues related to this this leave application so that you can prepare with your questions and i can provide you answers over the live session okay just do let me know if you still having some issues with this application thank you bye bye have a nice day